How to skip a build with the Skip Next Build plugin. Sometimes you may want to temporarily disable jobs because you know there's a maintenance window going on and you don't want to see any jobs failing. The downside to disabling jobs is you might forget to go back in and re-enable them. Using the Skip Next Build plugin allows you to set a specific amount of time to skip building a job. Here's today's starting point. I have a CloudBees CI Operations Center and CloudBees Client Controller. Both are at version 2.375.2.2. Before we go take a look at our client controller, let's go take a look at the documentation for Skip Next Build. The link for this documentation is down in the description of this video. A use case for this plugin is if you're going to be taking some external resources down. Let's say you have a static agent that needs to be down for maintenance. But at the same time, I don't want to see any build failures during that window. So a standard maintenance window for it. So what happens with this plugin is it adds a skip build action to all jobs. When you apply a skip to a job, you're going to see an orange background, which we'll see in a few moments, for any job that has a skip applied to it. Now we can apply a skip to either a folder or a job. We can navigate to skip builds at the job level. We also have an option to where we can apply the skips not only at a job or folder level, but at a full controller level. So we're going to be taking a look at both options, both at a job level and at the controller level. So let's go ahead and go back into our controller and let's verify that this plugin is installed. Now, by default, the plugin is not installed, but prior to starting recording, I have installed the plugin. So we'll look at installed plugins. I'm going to look for skip, and you can see that the CloudBees Skip Next Build plugin is installed at version 4.15. Version 4.15 is where the skip groups, the controller level, was introduced. So prior to 4.15, the only thing you could do is skip job or skip folder. But now with 4.15, you're able to skip at the controller level. Before we get to the controller level, let's go and look at the ways that we would normally do it and still can do it at the job level. So I'm going to go into my controller. Let's go to folder six and let's pick job 10. Now you'll notice over here on the left nav, there is a skip builds option. Let's go ahead and click on skip builds and let's skip build for this for eight hours. We can choose one, two, four, eight, or you can go ahead and define however many hours that you want. For now, I'm just going to select eight hours. We'll click on apply skip and we'll see that builds are skipped until, in my case, 6.54 p.m. on January 17th, 2023. If I was to try to run this job right now, we can see that it echoes out build scheduled. But in reality, since the build is marked as skipped, when I clicked on that button, it basically ignored it. It quickly saw that, yeah, I'll go ahead and schedule it. Oh, wait, folder six, job 10 is currently skipped until this amount of time. So at this point, I'm not even going to schedule the job to run. Now, here's one of the downsides to using skip build at a job or at a folder level. You'll notice that I'm in folder six, job 10. But if I go into folder six, I don't see any way to see that job 10 has a skip defined on it. So what I would have to do is go around to every job and look to see if there is a skip applied to a job. I'm going to go ahead and go in and I'm going to remove this skip for this job. So I'll just click on remove skip and now the skip is gone and I can go ahead and schedule to run this job and we'll see that it's running and will complete very quickly. So let's go up to the root of our controller and let's set up a skip group. So previously we were looking at a skip job. That same process would also apply to a folder. In fact, let's do that real quick. I can go to folder six and I can click on skip builds and I click on eight hours and apply skip. Now at this point, the skip applies to any job within folder six. So if I was to try to run job zero right now and click on the build now, it will we'll say build scheduled, but you'll notice that no job is being scheduled over here in the left hand side. Let's go ahead and remove the skip. And then we can see back at the folder six layer that the orange banner is gone. And that if I went ahead and ran job zero, we can see down here that the job is being scheduled and ran. Now let's go ahead and go up to our controller and let's set it up for a skip group. Now, if we go back into the documentation for skip groups, we're going to click on manage Jenkins, configure system, and we're going to define a skip group. Once we get into the skip group, we'll give it a name, a description, and either an include or an exclude. 
In our example today, we're going to be using an include. So let's go ahead and go back over to our controller, manage Jenkins, configure system. Let's scroll down to the skip groups section. We'll click on add. And let's say for this example, I want to, much like what we saw with folder six, I want to go ahead and do a full skip for folder eight. So I'm going to type skip dash folder dash eight. And I'm going to create a description. This skip applies to all jobs in folder dash eight. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do an include. We could also do excludes, but what is this field? Well, this field is based on using an ant path expression. So in my case, because I know that folder eight is at the root of the controller, I'm gonna say star star slash folder dash eight slash star. So what this is saying is wherever I find folder eight, anything inside of folder eight, that final star is going to fall under the skip. So let's go ahead and click on save. And if we click on skip groups on the left nav, we're going to see this definition skip folder eight. This skip applies to all jobs in folder eight. But notice that the builds are skipped until 7 p.m. on December 31st, 1969. What this means is that we have not set the time for skip yet. So we've defined what the skip group looks like, but we have not defined the amount of hours. So before we click on an hour selection, let's go into folder eight and we can see all of our jobs. We don't see an orange banner anywhere. If we click into a job, we don't see an orange banner. Let's go back up to the root of our controller. We need to move, not skip builds, but in this case, skip groups. I click into skip folder eight. I'm going to go ahead and select eight hours and apply skip. Now we'll see that the builds are skipped until 7 p.m. on January 17th, 2023, which is roughly eight hours from now. So now if I go ahead and go back into folder eight, I don't see an orange banner. And that's actually okay because remember how I defined that ant path expression. I said star star slash folder dash eight slash star. So I'm not going to be applying this to the folder, but I'm applying it to all the objects, that final star that exist in the folder. So if I click into job zero, we're going to see that builds are skipped until 7 p.m. So if I was to try to run this job, click on build now, we're not going to see any builds start up because this job is under a skip. If we go back up to the root of our controller, go back to skip groups, Again, we can see that builds are skipped until 7 p.m. I want to go ahead and remove this skip. So I'll select that. I'll click on remove skip at the bottom. So right now there's no skip applied, but the skip group still exists. So if I wanted to not even have the skip group defined, what I would need to do is to go back into manage Jenkins, configure system, scroll down to skip groups, and I would need to go ahead and delete this skip group and then click save. So now when I look at my left nav because there are no skip groups to find. There is no skip groups item in the left nav. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.